In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to fix the DirectX unrecoverable error you could be getting when you're trying to play Modern Warfare 3 or the Modern Warfare 3 beta. The steps are super simple. First of all, if you haven't already, it's a very good idea to verify your game files. The launcher does bug you for it if the game crashes, but if you need to know how, in Steam, locate Call of Duty, right-click, select Properties, and on the Installed Files tab, simply click Verify Integrity of Game Files. For Battle.net, simply navigate across to where the game is. In my case, I don't have it here, so I'll select Hearthstone instead, just as an example. When you get to the game's page, click the Settings button next to Play, then Scan and Repair. It's that simple. Once you've done that, it'll go through all of the files on your PC for the game, verify everything matches the latest version, and if it doesn't, it'll be re-downloaded and patched up. Before we get to some targeted fixes, it's a very good idea to check through some obvious ones, such as restarting your PC at least once, that can solve a lot of issues. On top of this, as this is a DirectX error, make sure that your GPU is properly seated in your computer, all wires attached, etc. if you have a PC you put together yourself. Lots of users report taking out the GPU, putting it back in, and things just suddenly start working again. It's always a good thing to make sure that your hardware is properly seated. Finally, the last of the obvious things is make sure that everything's up to date. Not only Windows through the Settings app, but also your graphics card driver, whether it's Nvidia, AMD, or Intel. You'll find a link for that in the description down below. Finally, let's get to some targeted fixes. The first simplest solution is resetting your in-game settings. For this, simply open up a new file browser, then navigate to Documents, followed by Call of Duty, and inside of it, you'll have a players folder with all of your settings for not just Modern Warfare 2, but also Modern Warfare 3. The ones with COD 23 are MW3 related. Anyways, what we're going to do is either rename the players folder or delete it entirely. This will force Call of Duty to recreate this folder when you fire it up next. If you receive an error when you try to rename it, simply make sure that Battle.net and the game are fully closed in order to actually rename it. Once you've done that and fire up the game, things should hopefully be working properly. The next solution is making sure that no other programs are running in the background, especially if they interact with the game. This covers overlays such as Steam, Origin, Discord, etc., all the way to overlays you wouldn't think of necessarily, such as FPS counters, graphs, etc. Those can oftentimes cause unseen crashes. The best solution is to simply reboot your PC, then only start up Steam or Battle.net and the game itself. If it works, then you know something else that was open is causing the issue. Then, let's make sure that the game is running on the correct GPU. For this, open up your documents once more, then head into Call of Duty, Players, followed by COD23.cst. This options file all the way here, it's one of the biggest ones, we'll open this with any text editor. If we simply search for NVIDIA and jump to the first result, Result, we should see your graphics card listed here. Last listed GPU. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti is mine in my case. If you have multiple graphics cards in your computer, you can try changing this here to be exactly the name of your other graphics card. This may not always be the best solution and only really applies if you have multiple discrete graphics cards in your PC. Instead, if you have an integrated GPU and a dedicated one, such as in a gaming laptop, this next solution will most likely be the one that fits fixes it for you. Hit start, type in graphics, and open graphics settings. If you see a screen like this on Windows 11, scroll down and select graphics over here. We should now be on the same screen whether you're on Windows 10 or 11. What we'll do is select desktop app from the drop down here, then click browse to navigate to where the game is installed. You can find it on Steam by right clicking it, manage, and using browse local files. For Battle.net, simply head across to the game. Once again, I don't have it here, so I'll show you Hearthstone. Click the options cogwheel and show Show in Explorer. Then once we're inside of the game's install folder, for the beta at least it's not separated from Call of Duty, it's instead in a subfolder called MP23. Opening this, you'll see mp23cod.exe. This is the Modern Warfare 3's main executable. Simply click in a blank space at the very top to select the path up here. Simply right click the path at the top over here as such and choose copy address as text. Otherwise you can click in an empty space and copy it that way. Then inside of this file explorer that popped up from our settings window, we'll click at the very top, paste and hit enter to navigate directly to the game's folder. Double click mp23cod.exe and it'll add it to the list. Simply select options here and choose high performance to force the game to run on your high performance GPU rather than your power saving iGPU 
which should help the game function properly. You can also try Don't Use Optimizations for windowed games, which may help increase the game's stability further, which may help increase the game's stability further. Simply click Save, and we're pretty much done here. If you'd like, you can browse and head back a folder and add the COD.exe for the main program itself, or Modern Warfare 2 as such, and once again, select High Performance here. Perfect. Now you can close out of this and try to launch up the game once more. Hopefully, things should be fixed at this point. Anyways, that's really about it. If you find a fix that works for you, please do leave one in the comments down below, as it may help other people looking for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.